Hey everybody, my name is Tom Tullis. This is the Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors, and today we're going to take a look at how to 3D print your own LED torch base for your miniatures. Uh, this is a great way to designate which party member is carrying a torch for your Shadow Dark or your D&D game. This model is currently available in my uh, Kickstarter that is running right now. It runs through next week, November 20th. So if you'd like to click over and check that out, the link is in this video description and up above here. Uh, this is one of the free stretch rewards that are in the Kickstarter, and it's up to over 400 models. And it's a really great way to help support me and what I do for the community. So if you would, please go check that out. This is a really great way to show who's carrying a torch in your Shadow Dark or your D&D game. This is comprised of four printed parts. Uh, the black pieces here. You have a bottom, a top, and a small ejector piece here that will eject your battery and turn the torch off when you're not using it. In addition to those three pieces, you'll need to print the flame. You'll need to have a uh, yellow flickering LED, and I'll link that in the video description, and a CR2032 watch battery. All right, to get started here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert the two leads through the holes in the top and make sure the longer of the two leads is to the outside, the outside hole. And so you're just gonna insert the leads like this. They'll pass all the way down. Make sure that LED is seated all the way in. You want as much of the leads protruding as possible to give you uh, enough uh, of them to work with here because we're gonna need to bend one of them. Uh, so the closest one to center, you're going to fold over and put into that trench. And if your lead is just a little too long, just nip uh, with some wire cutters as little of it as possible off, just so it fits down in that trench. And this is where the copper tape comes in. You can get this for about five bucks on Amazon. Uh, I've got a roll of half inch here. You don't need that. It's just what I happen to have. Um, you can get away with the quarter inch and I think that's like four or five bucks on Amazon, but just cut a couple swatches of that and you're going to use that to hold that lead in place in the trench at the bottom of that piece. And you're going to end up layering multiple pieces of this to get the depth you need. So go ahead and put two pieces on at this stage. And then once those are on, press them down good. Make sure those edges are pressed down because you don't want it peeling up during use when you're inserting that battery. Now comes uh, the only, I won't say difficult, but the part that's got to, you got to pay a little bit more attention to. You're going to need some needle nose pliers and bend that outer lead in a little bit like a 45 degree angle there. And then take the very end of the lead, just the width of the needle nose pliers themselves at the tip and bend it down about 45 degrees. And I'll show you, I'm gonna do this and then I'll show it to you in profile so you can see what I mean. Right there, I didn't fold it 90 degrees, I just folded it about 45. You don't have to be exact, but you want it kind of close. Then using my fingers about halfway up from that, I'm gonna rebend the lead so that it goes back horizontal. So coming down out of the hole, it's gonna go down into 45 then go horizontal and you've got that little tip that you just bent with the needle nose back down another 45. And this is essential for keeping enough tension in it to hold the watch battery in place. Now, when you assemble these, there is a trench here in the base piece here, and I'm gonna show it to you. You've got a long trench and then a deeper section towards the center of the base. And that deeper section is where that little hook you just bent is gonna fit into, okay? So to glue this together, we're going to use this Glue Masters uh, Super Glue. It works really great, and it's way cheaper than Gorilla Glue. So uh, just apply a little bit on the base piece here. Be careful not to get it in that opening for the battery ejector. You don't want to get the glue right up to that opening, because if you do, you're going to glue that ejector in place, and it won't work for you then. And then it's going to be a pain in the butt to get the uh, battery out once you've inserted it. So just use a toothpick or something else to spread that glue around. More is not better when it comes to super glue. You only need a very, very thin amount. Once you've spread the glue, place the battery ejector in place. There's a little nub on the outside end that should be pointing up. And now we're going to glue the top into place. And just make sure that lead that you've bent uh, twice is kind of centered here because you want it to hit that trench on the bottom piece uh, easily. So you want it aimed right at the center. 
and then line these two up. There are two alignment pegs on this, so you can't screw this up. Just get the two alignment pegs uh, put together and then apply pressure to it. And I'm just going to use some clamps, otherwise you're going to have to hold this for probably about 10 minutes for it to set up because it does need pressure applied to it because that lead is applying a slight amount of pressure downward and pushing that piece away. So I've just got some cheap plastic clamps here. I'm going to use those. Put those in place here. And once I got those in place, I'm going to go ahead and glue the torch piece in place so it can be drying while the base pieces are drying. And again, just put a little bit of the glue masters on there. Um, I put some on the inside to really get a good bond. There's not much of a lip here on this, so uh, actually gluing it to the LED isn't a bad idea. And so I'm just going to put that into place. And you want to make sure it's flush. Uh, it's not at an angle or anything. Just make sure it's flush on the black section of the base. And then set that aside to dry for a few hours. Okay, coming back, it's dry. I'm going to remove the clamps. And everything looks good. It's nice and tight. So we're going to proceed here to the next stage, which is... Um, we're going to need to apply a couple pre-cut swatches of the copper tape to the bottom lead uh, where it's in that trench. So I just have one cut. I'm going to use uh, some tweezers here to insert it. And you just want it on the tip because it is very sticky and whatever you're using to insert it, it will stick to. So just try to have as minimal contact as possible. Uh, once it's in there... Um, you're going to want to get it burnished down good. And so the first thing I'm going to do is go in here with a toothpick and just get it worked back a little bit. It didn't really get back as far as I wanted, so the toothpick is going to work better. And then burnish that front edge down. And then I'm just going to use, you can use like a cotton swab or a foam swab like I'm using and insert in there and burnish that down all the way to the back, okay? And this is essential so your battery isn't uh, causing it to peel up. So get in there, burnish that down good. Once it's in, I'm going to try the battery. And this is a friction test. Uh, does not come on. Apply a little pressure here and the light did come on there. So what I need to do is going to go ahead and, yeah, with, with enough friction or enough pressure for my finger, it will uh, make contact and turn the LED on. So what I'm going to have to do is you're going to have to layer up some additional uh, copper tape in there. So I'm going to add one more piece on the bottom because I've got two on the top at this point and only one on the bottom. So I'm going to add another one on the bottom, try to keep it kind of even, burnish it down, go in and uh, the swab here and push it all the way down, all the way to the back. Make sure it's in there good and then we'll run another test here. And again, you just want this tight enough that you just insert it and it pops the light on. The light is on this time. Uh, I'm not having to hold the battery, so that's an improvement. And go ahead and make sure it's in there all the way. Yeah, that's good. And try to get a little better view there and you can see it flickering. Okay, so that's in. I am gonna put one more piece of tape in, so there's five total and Three on the top, two on the bottom, just to make sure it's a tight enough fit. Um, you don't want it too tight because it'll start shredding the tape, but uh, uh, it was just loose enough that time. If I had shaken it, it probably would the battery would have popped out on its own. So I didn't like that. I wanted to put one more piece of tape in. So we'll do another test fit. That's a nice tight fit. The torch is coming on. It's flickering, so that's exactly what we want. So your LED miniature base is finished at this point. Like I said, it's a really easy build. Uh, you just need two colors of filament and the few accessories I'm going to link in the video description. So this is available in my currently running Kickstarter. It has just over a week to go and ends on November 20th. Uh, if you pledge that, this is one of the free stretch rewards you will get. Uh, there's over 400 models in it at this point, lots of miniatures and stuff. So if you would consider supporting that, I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching.